Hey everyone, it's Susie from Dragonfly Bees. I'm an online reseller, primarily in jewelry. And in this video, I am going to show you what I found at Savers today. It was such a nice day, I figured let's take a drive. I haven't been there in quite some time. So, I wanted to show you what I found. Everything in this video will be for sale, so if you're interested in purchasing, my email address is dragonflybees at gmail.com. There's a flat fee of $5 to ship under one pound. Uh, all the information is listed down below in the description box, so make sure you check that out too. So, all right, let, let's, let's start. So first off, I found this brooch. On the back, it is signed and it says, it says Vans S. Vans S is a, a New York company, which was founded back in the 40s, I believe. Uh, they closed down in the 60s. So I believe this brooch is probably from the late 50s. It's in really good condition. It's a textured open work flower. And um, first time I found something from Van S. It's a husband and wife um, uh, opened company. So that's the first find. I paid $5.99 for this. Here's another brooch, which I adore. It has that satiny finish with all these blue rhinestones and one lighter one in the center. There's a really pretty filigree, um, as you can see, the center. And then you have this really detailed um, leaf design. It's a really long stemmed brooch. And I think it's I think it's pretty amazing. I was looking for a Maker's Mark and I could not find any. But uh, I have to say, this is, um, I mean, look how long it is. This was, I, I upaid for this. This was, I believe, six six forty nine. Oops. Now... Okay, I am from the Big Apple, and so I saw this apple, and I said, oh, that is sweet. It has these red rhinestones all throughout, There's none missing. There's a nice little green enameled leaf. Um, that's the back. It's really clean. It's really nice. And... Um, from what I remember, I think this was $3.99. Next is another stunner. This is a vintage brooch, uh, gold tone. Look at the rhinestones. They're all there. And there's a center, really pretty blue stone, but I believe this is, um, I believe that's plastic. Please don't mind my nails. I was working, uh, scrubbing things earlier, and it's this polish is going to come off tonight. Um, anyway, so that's the back. I was also looking for a Maker's Mark, and nope, couldn't find one. But this is in really good vintage condition, considering. So, yeah, that is that. Next up is this beauty. Oh my goodness. Look at the detailing on this one. It's a, it's a, looks like a rose, some sort of flower brooch, but look at the detailing on those leaves. This does have a maker's mark. The back, let's see, right there. That says Raphaelinian. Raphaelinian? Oh, something like that. Well, this is in really good condition. That company is uh, from the 70s. 
um, I mean, this brooch is from the 70s. It's in perfect condition. It's just adorable. And this was um, $3.99. Then I saw this little critter. This froggy has so much detailing. Look at his little web feet. Look at his face. See his little eyes? He's a he's really pretty. He's gold tone. He has some sort of like a kind of like an antique wash. Um that is the back. It's an interesting um back body because you see all those uh the, the way it was constructed. I thought that was a mark over there, but if it is, can't make it out. And um, I believe he was about four fifty. Uh, oh, look at this little bugger! Really tiny little bee. Could be a bee. It's got like a little jelly belly, and I believe that's glass. And there's like little um, circle designs on the wing. And then the back, there is a symbol. Um, and it looks like a crown. And there's like five points. But I have no idea what, you know, if that's a maker's mark. Oops. Bear with me. Uh, okay. There's that crown I was talking about. So, I mean, look how tiny. Very tiny. And then this little guy, he's a mess, but he's cute. He needed a home. You could see he's cracked in a few places. It's a little yellow enamel lamb. And yeah, he's not in the best of condition. But he's cute, and he was one ninety nine, and you know, I brought him home. So that's that tray. Next up, found some bracelets. Here is a set of bracelets, three, all multicolor rhinestones, all around, and um, they're all there. Nice weight, silver tone inside, I think. And these were like $3 for all three. And then here is a vintage red enamel hinged bracelet with a safety chain um, with like gold tone diamond cuts uh, design going throughout. I mean, this is not in the best condition either um, because I do see okay, there's some wear right there and um, I think that's it. Okay, maybe some, some inside. Mm, not really. But let me show you how it how it opens. <clears throat> so there's the uh the hinge, right? So you kinda like push up. Needs to be a little cleaned, and then you just push it back in. So I thought this was cute because, you know, it's vintage and it's nice. I mean, whatever I do find that's vintage, if, um, if it doesn't sell here, I just add them on to my Etsy shop. Oh, there's four of them. Sorry, I thought there were three. So there's four bangles and yeah, those four bangles were... I think three dollars. Um, here's another set of bangles, and this came together as a set as well. And they are, I guess, the same design, but just a wider, wider design. 
but it's got such pretty pretty colors I mean that's what drew, drew me drew me to it um, let's see if anything's missing from here it doesn't look to be but I found these to be really fun and just just a nice um, a nice design and this pair was I believe four dollars so let's move that aside and show you what I found next look at that that's a Leah Sophia bracelet it's quite heavy um, it has a fold over clasp this is the back and as you can see it says Leah Sophia uh, let me show you look at these oh very pretty panels silver tone uh, bezeled just a gorgeous bracelet I mean that's nice this um, was six dollars I think I paid six dollars okay back to some vintage items this here is a gorgeous vintage um, Monet Monet necklace okay let me make some room let me make some room so you can see silver tone it's got this really cool wavy design it has a hook closure and a long extender and there's the jewelry tag and it says Monet this is the back this is in good condition it's also substantial uh, in weight I just find this um, to be really classic piece um, classic vintage piece and that's Monet next is a brushed silver tone piece also in a leaf design this one also has a hook closure and an extender and this is also Monet okay so I found a gold tone has this textured surface very substantial in weight it's in great condition um, yeah it is I believe so so that was that next is this metal fringe vintage necklace you know um, in this lighting it looks silver tone but I wonder if I'm seeing things it looks silver tone but then these tips look gold tone to me I don't know um, does anyone recognize that little corn cob jewelry tag this is vintage Coro and you can see Coro right there this I need to clean up a bit but this is um this is nice too so I was really happy with my finds um, oh one more one more item okay I gotta make one here let's make some room this stunner this is heavy it's not silver but it could be I mean the weight is is really a nice weight look at this um, toggle clasp it looks like a little um, like an anchor uh, no lifesaver there's no maker's mark on this one even the um, 
this bar has the studs on it, but it has these bezeled faux gemstones and all these wonderful, gorgeous colors. Um, so I guess it would be like faux citrine, faux peridot, faux blue topaz, faux aquamarine, faux faux faux. But nonetheless, this looks gorgeous. Um, let's look at the back. There's the back. And this is in very decent shape. So that was it for my savers trip today. And now with daylight savings, I was able to, I mean, it's late and the sun is still hasn't set. So that's why I was able to do a video. I said, why not let me do a video? Because if it gets too dark, um, it's not, it's not good. I don't have the right lighting. It's all about the lighting people. So yes, this is, uh, this is, uh, my trip to savers. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and please, if you haven't already subscribe, like also, and today's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday, March 15th. And that's the day. I will be announcing the winner of my giveaway. So don't forget, if you haven't entered my giveaway yet, I will um, I will even include that link in the description box below. Um, and thank you. Thanks so much for stopping by, spending these few minutes with me. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you real soon. Thank you. Bye.